Alright guys, what's going on? I am the alternate and today I am talking about the problem I encountered at King's Island. And it sort of just didn't ruin the day, but you know, it was a downer because I had planned for Diamondback to be better than Mystic Timbers. And I go and get first ride of the day on Mystic Timbers before the ride, I mean before the park opens. Then I walk over, get on Diamondback, get right in the back row, go in, everything's fine. And I go at the bottom of the first drop, it's a great drop, and then it just starts shaking. And it's, I, I, if I'm going to compare it to something, it's going to be like the older woodies when you get to the bottom and you just start shaking back and forth. It's not as bad, but that's what I'm going to compare the motion to. Now this is definitely probably the worst b and rattle there is out there. I wasn't expecting it, and it's not in one's place. It's at the bottom of every single hill. It is noticeable. Now, if you think it's only going to be in the back, it's not, because we've, I rode it in the front right after that, and it was just as equally bad. So, yeah, I was planning on having diamond buck, diamond back above Mystic Timbers, and it's just not. And when I was saying it's less smooth than Mystic Timbers, that's sort of a joke. It's sort of not, because it's very rough. But, I mean, it's still an enjoyable ride. It still makes my top three at the park. But compared to Banshee, Banshee virtually has no rattle when you look at Diamondbacks. And, you know, I'm really even going to put Millennium above this ride now. Just because that's how bad the rattle on Diamondback was. Now, if you don't believe me, go ahead. We can argue in the comments. Let's just have a constructive argument here, though. Especially if you haven't even ridden it this year. I feel like when you look at Cedar Point's maintenance and King's Island's maintenance, it looks like two completely different things. Like the trains on Diamondback are still somewhat dirty, and you look at, like, I guess, the top of the trains from Cedar Point, they look way cleaner. I'm not going to say that's the issue. I'm just going to say that's something I noticed. Also, which I actually liked, it was funny on Diamondback going into the splashdown. If you're in the back, just I don't even know where to put your arms. You're just I just got blasted both times I did it in the back. It was actually pretty funny. But. I guess that's why Silk City is free at Kings Island because you get it on the back of Diamondback. That's a terrible joke. But, you know, that's just it was something funny that happened while I was on it. So, yeah, that that's the Diamondback problem. And it's really, I don't know if it's going to be my top five. Nitro is definitely above it. I did not feel anywhere near as bad of a rattle on Nitro compared to that. But, yeah, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed my first full video with my new microphone. But other than that, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.